Welcome back to GMC, everyone. The time is 6.43. This is a live look out in Fowler this morning, thanks to our Viera wireless camera as the sun is rising on this Saturday morning. We're checking in with our Storm Tracker 13 meteorologist, Marty Vinachinque, for a look at our weekend forecast. Happy Saturday, Marty. And happy Saturday, Riley, and good morning, everyone. Pretty good little cluster of showers and thunderstorms went through last night. They're done now for the most part across the area. Temperatures are actually pretty mild. We're in the lower 60s in much of eastern Colorado. A few spots have dipped into the 50s. You have to get up pretty high in the mountains to find 30s, but we can do that if you get up all the way into Leadville. Otherwise, upper 40s to lower 50s, even for Gunnison and Alamosa. We do have some clouds left over, particularly over southern parts of our coverage area this morning. But those are going to continue to drift off towards the south, so we'll probably clear out for a few hours before clouds begin to build again in some parts of the state this afternoon. Notice, though, we don't see a lot of that here in eastern Colorado. Best chance for some isolated, generally weak and brief showers or thunderstorms will occur over the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, I guess it's more locally, or probably a little better chance out across the Continental Divide. If your plans take you up to the high country, you're probably more likely to run into a thunderstorm, but we're not going to have any of that here across the plains. Uh, the good news, I guess, if there is some and you don't like the heat, is it won't be as hot as it has been the last few days, because that was a little cold front that went through last night and gave us the thunderstorms. Um, but even behind that cold front, these temperatures are well above average in the 80s to low 90s in much of eastern Colorado with 70s and 80s over the mountains and mountain valleys. So real summery afternoon, a little breezy perhaps. As mentioned, thunderstorms not much of a threat for us, not here in the eastern part of the state. But we'll have some clouds over near the mountains here through the evening hours that will gradually wind down. And we'll probably end up with a mostly clear night once we get past about midnight or so. No thunderstorms tonight to come through the area. No more fronts in the area. And we'll be a little bit cooler. As a result, we'll probably drop off into the 50s to near 60 across the plains tonight. Leadville, once again, could dip back into the upper 30s. But most of our local mountain communities and southern valleys will be in the 40s to closer to 50 degrees. Cedar Point looking bright and sunny this morning with just a few clouds around right now. And uh, bright and sunny is probably going to be a good way to describe most of this holiday weekend. And we'll follow that up with a real warm week. Uh, storms, they're going to be awfully spotty and, and we're not really expecting much rain. Well, we'll talk about that in our extended forecast coming up soon. Stick around. We'll be back after the break.